Hey everyone, it's Kristen and today we're doing this half skull makeup look. I wanted this look to look like it was sort of melting into the regular skin, not really knowing where it begins or it ends. And I was inspired to do this look from this photo. I started this look by using a gray eyeliner pencil to sketch out the shape I wanted. For this look, we're keeping the eyebrow, so we'll be creating the eye socket underneath the eyebrow. Here I'm adding the hollow area around the temples and creating the jawline. And for the nose, we're only creating it on one side. On the forehead, we're creating a crack-like line that's sort of the suture in the bone. Once I have the line, I use a gray eyeshadow to start shading on one side. The other side, I do not shade. Now I'm going around the eye socket again with a black eyeliner pencil to sort of darken the outer edge. For the eyes, I'm going to be doing eyeshadow on one side and the same eyeshadow on the other, but the other is going to be a wider area that I'm darkening inside of the eye socket circle. Here I'm adding some concealer as a primer, and then I'm using a gray eyeshadow in the inner and outer corners, and blending that into the crease. Kind of creating a halo eye type effect. For the center of the eye, I'm using a white liquid eyeshadow and putting that in the very center and blending outwards. Trying to keep the middle of the eye very white and blending it in with the gray on the sides. On the side that has the eye socket, I'm going in and filling in the rest of that with gray and using some black for shading. For the hollows near the temple, I'm starting by using a gray eyeshadow and going around the inside edge making it darkest along the edge and then blending inward. To darken the edges, I'm using some black eyeliner just in a sharp line on the edge. Then I'm going to add a little bit of lightener to the inside of this. You kind of want some balance of light and dark shadows, and I felt like it was getting too dark. Then I'm adding another sort of crack or suture line in this area. Next, I'm using a white concealer to start creating the bone around the outside of the eye. Here I'm going off the reference photo for the shape, but we're creating a little bit of an eye socket shape around the outside of it. Add 
adding some of that gray now around the outside to add shape and shading. Then I'm blending the white concealer up onto the forehead, subtly blending it into my skin tone. Again, trying to make it not exactly end or begin anywhere. Here I'm going in with the white concealer again around the nose and eye area. And darkening the shading around the nose. And here I'm adding another crack or suture line. Here I am drawing in the jawline and the connecting bones. For this small bone in the back where the jaw meets, I'm filling it in with white and then going around the outside with the gray. At this point, I felt like the cheekbone needed to be a little bit higher, so I make those adjustments here, and then I fill it in with the white. Then I start to draw in the teeth and gum area, as well as sort of the hollow area of the mouth in the back. Then I fill in the jawbone with white. And then again use the gray for shading. Adding some black eyeliner where the bones meet for a darker shading. And starting to shade that upper cheekbone area with some gray as well to kind of give it the illusion that it's sticking out further than it is. Trying to make it look as realistic and 3D as possible. And now I'm filling in the hollow back of the mouth area.
For the teeth and gums, I sort of just created the shape I thought would look best and then filled in the color. For the gums, I used a little bit of the gray to create a line. And then next to that, I made the teeth shape, making the teeth very white compared to the gums. Again, to create sort of a blended look, I'm adding a little bit of the gum shape and shading above my lips where I stop the teeth and it sort of fades back into my regular skin. And that completes this half skull makeup look. I think a look like this would be really fun to wear for Halloween. I like the idea of one side being sort of a Halloween look and the other side you could still do some glam makeup with. I really like the idea of doing both. Let me know what you guys think of this look in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys again soon.